So farming and technology. How much can those two things really coexist? So technology is definitely all around us and as more and more years go by, more and more advances in the technology world are gonna be happening. And there's really never gonna be a slowing down of that. There's always new advancements and things and things are always changing. One of the reasons that we love moving out and having a farm is so that we could kind of get away from the electronics and everything that is just around us. But there definitely is some technology that we can use in our farming. So I figured today we'd show you guys the two main ones that we use here on our homestead, and I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely one of the top pieces of technology that we use to advance our farming system here is our automatic chicken coop door right here. An automatic chicken coop door is more than just the nice door that's on your chicken coop. It saves you a lot of time and energy so that you can do other things around your farm or homestead. Before having one of these automatic chicken coop doors, we had to come out every single morning every single night and we had to manually open this coop or close this coop. That is a lot of times of having to come out, wake up early so you can get out here so the chickens have enough time to be outside in the daylight and remembering at night to come and lock them up because there was two different times that we forgot to lock them up. Luckily, nothing bad happened, but that's what a chicken coop door can help save you is time and also your chickens because any of those times that you're gonna forget to close your door, your chicken coop door will not forget to do it. This specific kind of door right here, we got the brand, it's called Chick Cozy. The two main things that we love about this door is I love that we can set it to a time that it opens and closes at night instead of it just trusting the solar aspect of it just in case for some reason the door is not picking up the solar part of it. This door is gonna open up by time, which we absolutely love. And we love that we can run it using AA batteries. That makes it very easy for the power source. We don't need to have any outlets out here for it to plug into. We don't have to trust the solar aspect of it. We can just have AA batteries. Right on the front screen, you can see right away how much battery is still left in this thing. We put new batteries in this thing probably about a month and a half ago and you can see it's still at 90% battery, so it doesn't use that much battery to just open and close. So it's gonna last a long time. Since having an automatic chicken coop door here for our farm, I'm telling you it has made everything much easier for us. And I honestly really enjoy the use of this technology. It's not overbearing, it's not making it where it's doing really big things for you and just doing those little small things to make your job a little easier and you can spend more time getting other things done on your property. I'm gonna show you the second piece of technology that we like to use here as part of our farm. And it involves, kind of, these pigs here. So today is moving day for our pigs. As you can see, they have cleared out basically all the area that they have here. We need to get them to some new ground so they have some new things to dig up at and eat at. So around me here, you can see there's a lot of bushes and grass growing in this area. So we'd like to get them into this area so they can have some green and actually eat up at some stuff and they're not just all sitting in mud. One piece of technology that has actually helped us move our pigs, surprisingly, is the drone that we own. So it might sound a little weird, but what we do love about using the drone, especially for moving these pigs, we can actually see a lot more of our land than we can by feet. We can put the drone high up in the sky, survey all of our land so that we can really see where we can move them next and what's the best spot. Now with springtime coming and all the bushes and trees starting to grow their leaves, it's, it's gonna be a little bit harder to see the whole land, but a drone is a great piece of technology that you guys can use on your properties so you can see all the land that normally you couldn't. We have more than an acre of woods, probably about an acre and a half of woods here on our property that we would never be able to see unless we really walked the whole entire thing and getting a nice aerial shot of it is a very useful thing you can use for your farm or homestead that you own. Our drone is from the brand, they're called Roku, so if you wanna look into getting the same one that we have. And it's been very effective, like I said, in moving our pigs. We've used it to try to see where's the next best spot 
along with going down by feet, which I need to do right now. So let's go walk around and let's see what's the best spot to put these pigs. So initial kind of looking at it, I'd love for them to get into like this kind of bush here. I definitely want them to get into all this greenery here so they have something more to eat at and chew on. And then there's a lot of nice greenery right here. So it'd be nice to hit them in those main spots so they get a lot of greenery. This is the fun part, moving pigs. First, we'll keep it easy and we're just gonna get the stakes and the poly wire roll into position. And then you cross your fingers that you don't have any loose pigs while you get them to their new area. It's moving day. You guys excited? We'll get you to a new spot. The hard part, well, I shouldn't speak so soon, but one of the hard parts is all done. We have the whole thing fenced in all the way around this area. And now comes the part to see if we can successfully get the pigs in here without them breaking out and going anywhere else. We don't have a good track record, so cue any of the pig breaking out videos that we have right now. So I suggest this being a two-person job. <laughs> yeah. So my helper is gonna get ready. Just in case we gotta wrangle pigs. You ready? Yeah. That doesn't sound confident, but let's do it. Hey, 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 pigs. Come on. All right, we have pigs once again in a new area. We absolutely love getting the pigs into any new area. If you guys have watched us, one of the main things that we love doing with our animals is making sure they have fresh land to be on. Unfortunately for our pigs here though, we have waited too long. Their previous area, they just had no fresh pasture, no fresh land at all, and we kept them in there longer than we would have liked. So we are absolutely love seeing them out here running around, moving around, eating at the ground, looking at the bushes, sniffing the ground, and they absolutely love when we move them to fresh ground. You guys happy, huh? Good. I hope this helps you guys start to think of what pieces of technology could you use to help operate on your farm or homestead? I mean, I was one that's definitely against a lot of this stuff. I do miss the satisfaction of like opening up a coop and seeing the chickens run out. But I'll tell you what, I don't mind not waking up really early to let them out and definitely don't mind having to come out at night to lock them up because that's not as satisfying as seeing them come out. These little guys have no technology going. We just have to move them in their chicken tractor about every two days, give them fresh food and water and unfortunately we don't have someone that can do that. But there's still a few things here that I wouldn't want technology to take. I enjoy coming out here and moving this tractor. I enjoy bringing food and water out to the animals and seeing them come out and see us in the morning. I definitely wouldn't want a world where technology does nothing for us. That's not why we moved out here and started living this kind of lifestyle with all this stuff here around us. We came out here because we wanted to put the work in. We wanted to feel rewarded with what we were doing. So we'll always be picking and choosing what we put on here because we're definitely against a technology only farm here. We like putting in some of the hard work. You guys have a great day and a better tomorrow and See you on the next one. See you on the next one.